Hey guys, welcome to Humpty Plays, and uh, we're back to playing Pokemon Spectrum. So, uh, yeah, sorry about the previous part, but I was trying out a new setup, and uh, my webcam wasn't really that good at recording my uh, face, and also the audio got kind of messed up. So, yeah, um, I wasn't able to uh, really. Uh, put that on my video last time but this time we got the camera back and we got the audio good so yeah I'm hoping that this part will be good and uh, yeah so I'm wearing my Pokemon shirt got my Pokemon cap so let's get into this I love being outside don't you yes being outside is so good so yeah in the last part I did a lot of stuff I got through the Gobi forest I uh, beat the ninja from the ninja house and I made it here to Gobi village and um, yeah right now we we're just gonna train up a bit to fight the gym that's what I was thinking and um, yeah I think that's what we're gonna do so uh, yeah but let's explore it a little bit so you're a new trainer, aren't you? Hmm, yes, I see a lot of potential within you. If you work hard, you may be able to do great things. I have a gift for you. TM10, hidden power. Okay, so we got hidden power. Prowse I move will awaken you awake. Well, Prowse I move will help you awaken your hidden potential. The yeah, hidden power is a pretty good move. I remember uh, back in X, X version, I, uh, try to get him in power rock on my Sceptile because I wanted him to be strong against flying and ice types but it was really hard to get a hidden power on him but um, yeah they changed hidden power it used to well in this game it does like question 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 it depends on uh, the IVs how much power and the typing it has but I think they changed it in the more recent games I think starting with I don't know if they started with X and Y or with Sun and Moon, but I think it just has a set uh, base power. So I don't know if I should uh, remove this or teach it to him. Uh, now I'm just... Uh... No, I don't think I'm going to teach it to him. Because I don't think Coke Wall is good, especially. He might be. But um, yeah, I think he's a calm nature, so... Uh, that lowers attack, and special attack is uh, just balance, so... I guess we, we could teach it to him. We could delete Leech Seed. Hold on, let me check if this is recording. Oh, wait, I'll check right after we teach it to him. All right, so we're recording. So we're recording, and uh, yeah, let's see what this grandma has to say. This is so much better than a quiet city. I like the peace and quiet. This is so much better than a city. I like the peace and quiet, okay. Yeah, cities are really loud. I uh, sort of live in a city. I found this on the ground just outside the village. I had no use for it, so you take it. Quick claw, okay. It's nice, sometimes we get priority. Maybe it's a good luck charm. That Drakeon next to the gym is said to have lived in this village for more than a century. Liz likes taking care of it. Wow, more than a century, so it must be like level 100 or something. But I guess it has no trainer, unless the trainer passed away or something. But uh, yeah, that's cool though. It's lived for over 100 years. But yeah, like in the last part, I, I talked a lot about this game and what we were doing. But uh, when I saw the audio, it was uh, not good. So I like unevolved Pokemon. They're usually cuter than fully evolved ones. There was one time my Pokemon suddenly stopped evolving. I, I sure was happy. Yeah, they're cuter, but they're not as strong. So have any of your Pokemon evolved yet? Evolution might be your key to beating the gym leader. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking we should try to evolve our main two guys, Kokwala and uh, Rypek. 
think I went to that house. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was talking during that whole episode last time, but I guess it just didn't record. Or it did record, but the audio was like so low that you couldn't hear it compared to uh, the uh, audio of the game. So it turns out it wasn't that good. Have you heard of the legend of the multicolored creature? There are some tales saying that it once saved the Chroma region from a drought. The multicolored creature. Oh, that must be the legendary of this game. Because this is called Pokemon Spectrum, so that must be a call to the legendary of this game. Although I don't know if it's programmed into this game yet. Oh yeah, so this guy said there's a fairy type Pokemon in the forest. And I have a feeling it's the evolved form of this P-Lub. So, yeah, I was gonna train up P-Love to uh, maybe evolve. Let's check out Route 5. What's over this way? Gobi Farm, huh? What are those? I should get myself a Kokoala. Their shells can produce fresh milk. Oh, really? That's interesting. Hello, I'm one of Professor Yaka's assistants. He told me I can give you a gift Pokemon if you caught 30 or more Pokemon. That way you'll have motivation to catch them all. It seems that you haven't caught many or enough Pokemon. Come back when you have 30 or more for your surprise Pokemon. Oh, he's gonna give us a Pokemon. And what are those? Zzz. Sleepy. <laughs> New Pokemon. New Fakemon. Okay, we got some cherry berries. Uh, so, I'm glad to be playing this game. This is a pretty fun game. And it's nice to relax and play the game. I'm getting some berries here. So yeah, I just uh, kind of feel bad because my previous part wasn't up to the quality I like my videos to be, but I think this one will be. Like, I have been having some, uh, I guess we can plant some stuff here, but yeah, I have been having some issues with uh, rendering my videos because, like, I uh, have the face cam at high quality and I have the game at high quality, so it takes a while. And um, yeah, now I'm gonna try out having the uh, face cam at a bit lower quality. So hopefully that will uh, remedy the video is taking a long time to uh, to render. Feel free to check out the back. There's some Pokemon there as well, some nice crops. Yeah, I just raided your crops and got all your berries. People from Gobi Village come to this farm often for produce. It's a good business. Yeah. Selling berries, farming. Farming is a good industry to be in. Although, um, I guess here in America we do, we have a lot of international farming, but like farming, like we have uh, people from like Mexico help us with our farming, I guess. <laughs> oh, what the, an evil guy. I recognize you, if you can get one Jibaj, Jibaj I will let you test this out. Well, that guy looks creepy. Looks kind of like a Galarian, uh, what's it called? Opsigoon? <laughs> Just his color scheme looks like Galarian Opsigoon. But, uh, yeah. I think our starter should evolve at level 16. Let's try to train up our starter and uh, beat the gym with our starter. So... I won't let you get to the gym leader so easily. Yeah, we just had to climb that ladder and we would have gotten to them. Youngster Tao. Dragon. A dragon type this early. Hopefully they don't have dragon rage. I wonder what my hidden power is. But uh, yeah, hopefully they don't have dragon rage because that's like overpowered at this point of the game. 
Uh, our hidden power isn't super effective. Hmm, but yeah, maybe one of their Pokemon has Dragon Rage on them or Paralyze. So maybe that Fairy type Pokemon would be good to get. You can see a Charizard X. I have a Charizard X plush in the back of my room. I don't know if you could see it. But yeah, I've been wearing this hat during all these parts, but uh, I guess I don't really need to wear it. Let's beat this Dragon. Hopefully he doesn't beat us. Oh man, we're gonna have to switch out. But yeah, I like this X and Y music. X and Y were really good games. There should have been a Pokemon Z version. I think I talked about this earlier in one of my parts, but yeah. It's the Kalos region, the Kalos, Kalos, Kalos. The Kalos region is the only region that never got a third game. Which is crazy because like, those were like really good games. And it was like really successful too, so it doesn't make any sense as to why uh, there was never a third game for uh, Kalos. But... Milk drink? Speaking of the milk, Kokla is getting milk drink. What should we delete though? Hmm. Man, only four moves. I guess I'll delete hidden power. I don't know what typing that is. But I think Milk Drink might come in handy because it seems like our Kukla is always getting uh, damaged. Now I gotta go heal up. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting my PokeTubing career. Although I don't know if I'm gonna do this for, uh, for a long time. I'm just uh, doing this for now, seeing what happens, enjoying, enjoying things as they are right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield, though. I'm gonna be playing those games. Well, Pokemon Shield, I'm not getting both of them, but... Yeah, you know what I mean, Pokemon Shield version. And, um, yeah, if you guys wanna battle or trade with me, I would, uh, love to battle or trade with you, just leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe, and I'll definitely to battle you definitely try <laughs> but uh yeah i mean just leave a comment down below and uh yeah i'm gonna try to record some battles and trades on youtube here so if you want to be featured here uh definitely uh leave a comment saying that you're interested in that otherwise um you don't need to say anything well, even if you're shy, you know, you could just leave a comment. I oh, know he's using bad. But yeah, I, I don't usually leave comments on YouTube videos. I just watch YouTube videos and I uh, enjoy them. But um, yeah, I mean, comments do let YouTubers know that uh, they're making good content. And uh, they appreciate that. Sorry, you can't enter cycling with the best club. And, I didn't even try to enter this place last time. I think now all we have to do is grind. Oh man, I don't, I don't like this place <laughs> because uh, um, there's no more trainers and we just have to battle in the grassy areas to train. So it's just like grinding. I used to grind a lot back, back in the day. <laughs> like in Pokemon <laughs> because like I used to try to be at a very, a very high level before I battled anyone like the gym leaders because I, I like to be extra prepared in battling gym leaders so I used to always grind like for like an hour or two and it helped out a lot but I mean it's not the funnest thing but uh, yeah, we're almost level 16, so I'm gonna see maybe the grass here at the bottom is a little bit better to grind and get experience. And was there a grass here in the bottom? Well, we didn't. Oh, there was a cut. There was a grass here here though. I wonder if there's Pokemon here. Okay, yeah, there is. 
call. Oh, what? Chicka two. That's a new Pokemon. We haven't seen that before. But yeah, I have been uh, upgrading my setup slowly yet surely. Yeah, before I used to borrow a camera from my school. But uh, now I bought this DSLR camera. I'm using the SL2, the Canon Rebel SL2 camera. It's a pretty good camera. It's very affordable. Well, not very. It's like over $500. But uh, for a DSLR, that's not bad. Oh, let's try to catch this guy. I gotta put on my cap. Although, I don't know if I'm gonna... Uh, I'm never gonna use him, but you know, it's nice just to catch these Pokemon, just to have them. Oh, what? He didn't even shake once. That's crazy. Maybe he didn't like that we put on our hat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, usually these Pokemon are pretty easy to catch. Maybe this is a bit more rare because, yeah, even the second ball he didn't get in. Come on, Chikatu. What typing do you think he is? He reminds me of Zatu a little bit. Come on. One, two, three, and we got it. All right. Yeah, sometimes you gotta, you gotta do some funny stuff to catch the Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I used to do that a lot. Let's read the deck entry. So it grows steadily until it's ready to evolve. It's unknown what it looks like under its shell. I'd like to give a nickname now. Hmm. Unknown what it looks like under its shell, eh? Hmm. Have you guys heard of Pokemon uh, Solar Light and Lunar Dark? Oh, we found this pink thing. The Dream Air. Seems like a fairy type? Fairy psychics? Or just maybe psychic? Oh man, it's using rest. Well, that means it'll be easier to catch. But yeah, um, those are also some fan games which are uh, pretty popular. I'll see you playing those games eventually, but... I don't know if I should. Oh, a snore. Snore is one of those moves that's only useful when you're uh, sleeping. I remember I uh, taught snore to one of my Pokemon back in Pokemon Gold version. Come on. All right, we got it. We got it, guys. We got it. Uh, yeah, and I think I had it on my Snorlax. And uh, so let's read the deck entry. It sleeps nearly every hour of the day. Anyone who rests her head on its fluffy back can fall asleep quickly and have good dreams. So this one is blue. The one we caught is pink, so the girl must be pink and the boy must be blue, I guess, because the uh, genders, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so what I didn't like about Snore was it only works when you're sleeping. And, uh, yeah. That's kind of useless when you're like just trying to beat up Pokemon. But uh, maybe when competitive battling it might be useful. I don't know if I should plant some berries. Sure, let's plant some, some Oron berries. Maybe we could plant more? So yeah, I remember planting berries used to be a big part about Pokemon. Like, they introduced it in the third generation. And, uh... I guess it was in games, like, after that. Although, in Alola, they have berries. Yeah, they have berries, but, uh... You can't really plant berries. You just get berries daily from the trees. I don't think you could plant berries. Um... Yeah, but in X and Y you could plant berries. And, uh, yeah. But I remember I used to enjoy, like, planting berries and getting lots of berries, like, watering the berries. Like, at every single, uh, stage of the plant life. Like, when it was sprouting, and then when it had flowers blooming. 
and uh, you would have to like water it like a lot. I'd water it like 10 times. And I keep on forgetting that the gym is here. It was, this doesn't seem like a gym, even though it does, the gym symbol. And, uh, hopefully there's another trainer we can battle. Oh, there's some grass area here too. Can we find Pokemon here? Doesn't seem like it. But um, yeah. Then I used to get like a ton of berries. But yeah, Pokemon uh, Emerald has to be like one of my favorite games. Although I mean, I don't really enjoy all the Pokemon games. Let's see. Try biting him. Maybe we could get a flinch on him. Oh, what Screech? He's faster than us too. Oh no, that's not good. And that was a crit. I think we gotta go for the milk drink. Oh no. Oh man, this might beat us on now. Should have seen that one coming. Yeah, that guy is too strong. Larva's. Good thing we have Rypek. Rypek is pretty strong. No, he's biting, but he's not gonna be able to live this time. Oh, he lived. Oh man, oh, what? Um. Yeah, this might be an issue. Okay, we got the we got a crit. So I was getting a bit worried there. That might have been an issue, guys. And we almost gained the level. I need a real dragon fight. Oh, Larvas? Is this a dragonfly? Maybe he evolves into a dragon type. That's pretty cool though, I didn't even uh, see the resemblance of him being a dragonfly. Yeah. This game is like so well, so well made. I don't know how like game, developer, game developers do it. Like, and like people who make these games like in their spare time and like for fun too. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm determined to evolve our Kokoala because he needs a boost. And uh, yeah, the gym might be really tough, so. We gotta train up. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for the uh, flying type. We got the P love here. I have something else. I uh, updated the graphic on the video last last time, and also in the video before. What the a touring? That's interesting. Very interesting. He's like a bull. You guys know matadors. They uh, hold the red capes to attract the bulls. Okay, let's get him down to a little bit lower and then try to catch him. Oh, he's raging at us. Alright. Got the cap on. Two. Three, and we got him. Alright, okay, we got experience too. Okay, that's good. So the ring in its mouth is actually a tusk. The ring is as hard as steel and aids in its blunt force ramming attacks. Oh, interesting. Even catching a lot of Pokemon. But yeah, I don't think we used to get experience in X and Y. Or did they start it in X and Y where you start gaining experience if you catch the Pokemon? I feel like they started it in Sun and Moon. I want to say they started it in Sun and Moon, but could be wrong, so if anyone wants to correct me, feel free. And we've been recording for 25 minutes now. So yeah, the camera shuts off after uh, 30 minutes, so that's something to keep in mind. That's just the thing with cameras, like I was uh, 
searching like why do cameras stop at like 30 minutes and um, it's because of some European standard because then the camera would, would be classified as a camcorder so they don't want that I guess so they have a 30 minute limit on cameras but yeah I've been uh, upgrading my setup here and uh, yeah I got a 24 inch TV that I set up back here um, I might do a little tour one of these days and um, I also ordered an HP gaming laptop um, so that should be able to handle uh, games a little bit better and also video editing so uh, yeah that will be good and um, yeah just been focusing on this but uh yeah and, uh, found this Pokemon found the Taurine so, uh, yeah, I uh, have been upgrading my place, slowly getting ready for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, I'm like really hyped for those games. I oh, mean, that did more damage than I'd like. And uh, yeah, I want to play those games on my channel, I think I mentioned it before, but yeah. And also the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime series is uh, going to be ending in November. I'm really interested to see what's going to come after the Sun and Moon anime series. Like, what direction they'll go in with the show, because like, they could go in any direction, like, it's not really that predictable. But yeah, right now Ash is in the Pokemon League. I really think he could win, win it all this time. Like, I believe in Ash. Oh man, all right, picked an Evolve either yet. So we gotta do milk drink next time we find a Pokemon, so we can heal up. Oh yeah, this is the grind. Oh, now we found the blue one. But yeah, it's been really hot here in uh, California, Los Angeles, California. So yeah, I live in Los Angeles, California, guys. Everyone wants to come to Los Angeles. I've, I've lived here like my whole life. And, um, I don't know. It's not that special to me, but I guess there are a lot of events here and like there's a huge community of people who play games and are interested in entertainment sort of stuff. So I can see why everyone wants to come here, like actors, uh, content creators, entertainers. Oh man, this Pokemon is really defensive. He's not going down without a fight, it seems like. Oh, he's rest now. I wish we had a move which increased our attack on the uh, Koala. I think Rypek would be best to take him down. What type was he again? I didn't I didn't check last time the typing on him. And I think he's a psychic type. Maybe a bug type Pokemon would be good in this case. Let's go for a stab fury attack. I hope we get a lot. Two oh only two times. He's still asleep. Hasn't it been more than two turns? Maybe that's his ability, like he uh, sleeps for longer. He sleeps for three turns instead of two turns or something. But yeah, I want to make these parts a little bit longer because like I've just been kind of grinding and like taking my time and uh, you know just enjoying the game so I just want to try to keep these parts a little bit longer. Oh, now we use our orange berry. But yeah, I think longer parts will be a little bit better for now. And um, yeah, and the only downside is they take a long time to render. But I feel more uh, 
more happier doing longer parts. Okay, we're finally level 16. Okay, Coke Ball is finally evolving. Let's go. Oh, what's he gonna turn into, guys? He's evolving. What is that? Cool combat. Looks pretty cool. Whoa, what just happened with his eyes there? He wants to learn knockoff. Also, he's grass and dark. Oh, that's interesting. Like a ship tree. Well, I guess I should have known from Bite. Wait, knockoff has more power than Bite? When was that? Has that always been the case? Maybe. Go combat. I got how these bite and learn knock on. Yeah, so he's like shift tree. What other grass dark types are there? Mm, oh, what? We can use milk drink out of battle? Oh, he can milk drink himself? Oh, what? Milk drink? Costs him 10 HP? I guess Smoke Drink did have that ability where you could help uh, one of your partner Pokemon. Although I never really uh, used it that much because like I think only a few Pokemon have Milk Drink. Like I think Miltank has Milk Drink. I remember it was Soft Boiled with Chansey. It showed up on the menu and you could use Soft Boiled to heal your party and uh, it would uh, reduce the HP of Chansey. But I didn't, I didn't really remember with milk drink, but I guess it's, it's also with milk drink, so that's good. But yeah, he looks pretty interesting, you know, this design is not bad. He looks like a middle stage evolution, that's for sure. And I wish his nature wasn't that bad. And his stats didn't seem like they went up that much. It's kind of disappointing. I expected more. But... What can you do? <laughs> now, should we get a right pick up as well? I think right pick is fine for now. Although I'm really scared because I think I remember the gym having Dragon Rage. <laughs> I think I remember the gym having Dragon Rage, guys. So, yeah, might be a good idea to try and pee love a bit, but let's see, if we lose, we lose, you know. Let's buy some potions first though, <laughs> I don't want to lose, guys. Yeah, the market was up here. We're gonna buy, not Pokeballs, potions. We're gonna buy a ton of potions. We can only buy five, okay, let's buy five. Uh, but yeah, playing this game is pretty relaxing. And um, yeah, when I start going back to school, I'm not gonna be working anymore, so I'm gonna have a lot of time to play this game. And I hope to upload a ton of parts and uh, start playing some other games too. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Goon loses. Alright, who should we have first? Uh, our apostle is too far below. So you accepted my challenge, huh? No backsies. Alrighty. Uh, is that a boy or girl? Liz, okay, it's a girl. Oh, that's her hair? I thought that was like part of her costume or something. Gigon, okay. This music though. It's really good. Let's go for the return. Should be our strongest move. Alright. And then that did big damage on us. That's some big damage. <laughs> Big damage, big damage. It's kind of funny. Oh, what the heck is that thing? Oh, 
We got a battle until we're landed, I guess. Oh no, Thorny. Should have known. Oh no, it has Dragon Rage. That's a two hit kill for everyone. A one hit kill for everyone except for combat. Come on, co combat. Hyper faster. Wow, our knockoff beaten. It's not bad. Oh, and that was it. <sighs> Man, I thought she had a third Pokemon. Well, I never thought he'd be able to beat my Dragon types. Yeah, I didn't expect knockoff to beat him. I was getting kind of nervous, so... Wow, you actually beat me! I know you're bigger and all, but... It still caught me by surprise. I used to cry when I lost, but knowing someone is stronger than me just motivates me to train my Pokemon more. You better have this. Ooh, we get a Dragon Badge. Six. Nice badge. That Gym Badge is your first step to becoming a great Pokemon trainer. Enjoy, and I'd love to play with a Pokemon on my daycare, so be sure to stop by again. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to give you something, aren't I? Something else, aren't I? Gym leaders usually give out to him, but I can't remember where I placed mine. Come into the daycare, and I'll give you another gift. Give me Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage. Collect the other gym badges, show others how good you are. Will do. Rypek took the hit, though. If this was a Nuzlocke, I would have lost already, guys. <laughs> but I'm not a Galarian. <laughs> I'm not like other Poketubers, guys. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the Galarian form of some other Poketubers you might know. Oh, I'm not moving, guys. This, he's moving by himself. Here, I have a gift for you. My better sister gave it to me, but I have no idea what's inside. Please take care of it. Make room in your party so I can give you this Pokemon egg. Alrighty, we got an egg. Well, we're gonna get an egg. But yeah, the thing about making videos, guys, is you gotta manage your energy levels. And uh, make sure you're not boring. That's something that I have a hard time <laughs> doing. It's, I feel like I'm, I'm super boring sometimes. And, I don't want to be boring for you guys. Yeah, I don't like this Skurgot. So he's going in the PC. We have all these Pokemon here. They don't have any items though. See who's kind of cool looking. I think Larva's is pretty cool. This thing is also kind of cool. Let's look at their stats though. He hates to lose. Nobody likes to lose, you know. He gets angry after taking crits too. Might be nice. This thing is a beast in defense. <laughs> this is a tank. <laughs> so, so. This thing also has good defense, but lower attack. Tumbly, we just don't need another grass type. I think we're just gonna leave him there. So we got an egg. We're gonna raise this egg. Feel free to come back and I can take care of your Pokemon for a while too. Let's just get one of our moms from the day, from the PC and put him in the daycare. Don't you guys like doing that? Take some weak mom that you have, throw them in the daycare, come back after we beat the Pokemon League. See, they grew like 50 levels. <laughs> And it costs a ton to get them back. It's not worth it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see, I don't know who to put in there. Who's gonna be like our our secret weapon? Who needs to go to the hyperbolic time chamber and uh, train up a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Skurgot. 
He has a lot of potential. She, she, uh, we are uh, gender inclusive here. So yeah, I mean all my Pokemon are boys. And that's just like how it is sometimes. Like even the starter Pokemon, they they're more likely to be boys than they are girls for some reason. It shouldn't be 50-50. But they just don't like that. <laughs> because they don't want to do that. Yeah. This chick or two can uh, go to the hyperbolic time chamber. I guess you could breed here too, but I don't need a breed. So, how long have I been recording? So, about 45 minutes? Is this a good time to end off this video? It might be a good time to end off, guys. Yeah, I felt a lot better in this video. And... Yeah, so now we only have four Pokemon on our team. I think that's, that's good. And an egg, okay, so... Yeah, we can just focus on these core guys a bit. Try to get them up a bit. And... Um, yeah... Because it's hard to focus on six Pokemon. And we'll see if something cool comes out of that egg. Because I'm pretty sure that'll be like a Dragon type Pokemon. And hey, what about Cut? We never got Cut from anyone. I wonder. Let's go see that uh, dark guy. I think he said to come back when we beat the gym. Haha, <laughs> you really are the real deal. You see these trees, normally to pass them, it requires using a hidden machine under Pokemon. This method is too restrictive. I don't know what kind of accent I'm trying to get. Too inconvenient, but there is a better way. I have in my possession a Pokemon that will make this task much more efficient. This Pokemon is known as HM. Oh, like HM. It is an artificial Pokemon invented in part by yours truly. Artificial Pokemon? What? Well, I'm sure its appearance will be familiar to you in particular. Take HM, it is more useful to me if it serves you. We got HM. What the? As for the trees, this Pokemon is specifically designed to terminate such annoying obstacles. Its main function is to take the programming of a hidden machine and transform itself to perform that task. I already programmed that HM to use cut. Interact with the tree, and HM shall be summoned to perform this task, even if it isn't in your party, so you can still carry six other Pokemon. I leave the rest up to you, trainer. You should be able to handle this tool if you could find a way around a simple Dragon Rage attack. Ha ha ha. Oh well, I just got lucky with the Dragon Rage. <laughs> Wow, this is an actual Pokemon? Oh, it's a Rotom? Weird looking Rotom. Wow. He's a normal Rotom form. And he looks really weird. I wonder if they thought of this before the Sentiment Pokedex was revealed. Who knows though. I don't know, well, I don't know when this game was made. That's cool, they had the Rotom. So, press A. Oh, I forgot, we could also have a Pokemon following us, right? I haven't been having your Pokemon follow us. What button was that again? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because I remember they said our Pokemon could follow us. Some. But yeah, that just reminded me of having a Pokemon follow us. In the first episode, we had our Pokemon follow us, and then ever since then, I uh, stopped doing that. Because I just kind of forgot. What does, what does it, that Rotom mean, though? Like, it says press A for the Rotom. Uh, I don't know. What that means. Hmm. Oh, does that mean he just goes to the front? Did I switch in there? Man, I'm... I'm like just thinking, so... Sorry if I'm just thinking, guys. I'm trying to figure out these things, though. Yeah... Look at how our Pokemon follow us. Oh, man, I'm gonna need to figure that out again. Yeah, we beat the first gym, we got through the Dragon Rage, guys, and now we're here, and uh, I guess in the next part we're going to figure this out. I'm going to figure out how we get our Pokemon to follow us, because, yeah, I want the Pokemon to follow us, because that's nice to do. And, uh, yeah, we got through the Dragon Rage, I didn't expect the knockoff to knock off to uh, beat it, but yeah, we beat him. And, um... It's been good so far, so like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hopefully I didn't sort of days off towards the end because I was just thinking. But uh, it seems like my mic also is getting a little bit closer to falling a bit, but yeah, okay now it's a little bit better. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.